Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. So today we have another experiment for you guys and that is playing around with turrets and Gatlin pews. Alright so today I wanted to play around with the turrets and Gatlins to kind of you know kind of test them out see how it goes and like what kind of designs we can do with them because as some of you may know the turret system for a large grid such as this one um, you can easily Leave it like this automatically and program it to shoot certain things where necessary, um, whether ships, people, whatever the case may be, um, in, in, in terms of the programming. As you see here, um, targeting stations, characters, whatever the case may be. But if you didn't know, which most of you probably do know, is that there, there is a control button. So when you hit control, you actually control the, the turret itself and it has a camera where you can actually zoom in and out. And you can go left, right, up, down, diagonally, or wherever the case may be. And you can start shooting the Gatlin turret itself. So as you see here, there's a bit of my drone here. You can just easily shoot it as such with this. So this is manual controlled. Um, and it works pretty nicely. But I always run to issues with this because the large grid version is huge. When I say huge, it's pretty much a 3 by 3 cube which is takes up a lot of space for something that just looks like it's only two um, by one or one by two, whatever the case is. So of course we want to kind of reduce the footprint and try to find some other ways to do this. And of course we turn to uh, the small grid version. So with the small grid version, you can do it in many ways. One way is to connect it through a rotor with a small head or a hinge system with a small head as well and then of course you can connect it um, with the Gatlin turret that way and, uh, and when you're using a rotor system you of course you want to use advanced rotor so you can connect it to the bottom with the large um, conveyor hole there but in this case I use the connector version of it um, just easier sometimes and it's a bit of a smaller footprint as well but um, this one is the same thing once we get into it as long as your connectors are locked we can go into the Gatlin turret and also go to control. So now this is the smaller version. So that's the bigger version right there in front of us. Our smaller version, it's the same thing. I mean, you can pretty much go forward and shoot, um, zoom in, zoom out, and shoot at any direction you want. So these are pretty nice. It has a bit of a crosshair, which is cool. And this Gatlin turret only has, it's pretty much one large block. So it's, it does reduce the footprint that way. And it also has automatic shooting, but we could go even further than that. And we want to play around with different types of um, turret systems here so the first one I created is this which is um, kind of more of a manual system of course with a seat because I was thinking more of like a, in lines of a ship that has Gatlin turrets on the outside for like a, if you have friends of course you have them sit in the turret system and have one person pilot this whole entire thing so you can go into the seat and start shooting the Gatlins from there which would be pretty interesting and fun so instead of putting these bad boys here like this turret in the small side let's play around with the Gatlin turrets to get a little more firepower out of them because as we have here if you put a few turrets it's going to be a larger footprint right so this is one turret versus like two turrets on a very small footprint which is pretty much close to the same uh, amount of space that one takes the only biggest problem is that this is not automatic and another issue is that this one can't go up and down but different designs in the turret system which would make it cool is this here where we can put on a platform um of course put not connect the connectors have a gyro system and of course connect everything else um into here and then we have a pretty interesting um way of having a gatlin turret um, going left and right of course again we don't have up and down but you easily have left and right in this sense. So, I mean, this can be a good design if you only have horizontal shooting and and or maybe it's attached to a, maybe it's attached to a ship where you can use the ship to maneuver up and down more than anything else. But have it go left and right, or have somebody else pilot the turret part of it to go left and right. So, this is just a a, sm a quick, easy way of doing it. And of course, you want to just connect a small grid connector, and of course, connect the Gatlin turrets. You can actually just put the Gatlin turrets right into this smaller conveyor tube or hole here. 
but I wanted to level it out so that it's, you know, pretty much eye level um, from the seat or close to eye level. And of course, I added a little bit extra on the top and that is just a kind of like head piece or head seat or, or something like that. Um, but it's just really for the camera. So it just kind of gives it a nice little look. Um, so you can actually go to the camera and of course you can zoom in and out as well with this. And then start shooting with the Gatlin turrets as well, or the Gatlin guns here, as you see. So if you may notice, I have a I have a clear camera, and that's because I'm using the clear camera mod, as you've probably seen in the camera experiments. This is nice and compact, but unfortunately, it doesn't have up and down momentum. But this is another way of making a, a horizontal purpose um, Gatlin turret, so you can go left and right. And I mean, again, it's fairly easy. A connector with a gyro and batteries. That's the trick. And of course, if you need to reload, you're going to have to connect into the base there. So that way um, you have your connector, reload your Gatlin turrets if you need to. I What I did is pretty much made the connector on, on the base here of the turret system um, do collect all so it can collect as much ammo as possible. So that's a quick, easy design. So you could probably attach this to a ship if you need to on the very top or bottom depending on where it is um, you can have nice horizontal shooting with the Gatling gun over there and of course the next one is going to be this one here so another turret system I mean pretty much running off a large grid to small grid we're going to use an advanced rotor with a small rotor head and we just connect the seat to this conveyor box here and pretty much did the same exact thing we just made the rotor torqueless and we added some gyroscopes here so that we can turn it left and right and of course it's the same exact concept as this one um, the only difference is that it's using a rotor system instead so it, it's very similar in, in that aspect and it's very similar in size too the biggest problem I had is that I did have to run this big box here to convert to the smaller conveyor hose here because an advanced rotor um, it's in small grid size it's actually the bigger um, conveyor hose so this becomes an interesting Gatlin turret going left and right as well. Again, no up and down motion. But of course, you know, did the same thing. Put the little camera here. And we have the Gatlin turrets um, shoot left and right. And of course, we can get into our camera, go zoom in, shoot what we need to, as you see here. Two different ways to do horizontal motion, and that's going to be your rotor system or your connector system. Um, I sometimes like the connector system, but the biggest problem is that you do have to lock in to reload. This one, it's going to automatically reload based on how much you have into your, you know, your cargo system and, the, and things like that. All right, so then I took it a step further because we want to get up and down motion, right? So up and down motion is going to be, you could do a rotor um, facing horizontal or use a hinge. And what I did was use a hinge using a small part, which uses a large conveyor hoe as well. So I had to use the same little conveyor box here to convert to these small ones for the Gatlin guns here. Um, and this one is actually running off of a script. And this script, of course, if you've probably seen it many times already, is one of my favorites, as, as I mentioned before. Of course, that is the cockpit piston rotor and hinge controller script. As you can see here, um, this is going to be a pretty much mouse controlled turret system, which Don has done in previous video as well. But just want to showcase it again um, because you know I'm just playing around with turrets uh, or manual turrets to see how it can all work out. So jumping into this one, let's just raise the um, headpiece first. You see here we have a seat in front, same as the one before, and we can go up and down, left and right. And I'm, again, I'm controlling all this with my mouse because it's set up to control that way with the script. And of course, if you want a tutorial on how to do that. Check out the video that Don did previously. Adding the camera here, and now since we go up and down, we actually do have laser sight from the Gatlin turrets this way. I mean, you probably do already with the horizontal ones, the ones before, except you can't see them because it's so far forward. Um, and it's only straight forward in that way. But now since we can go up and down, we can see the red dots, and you can easily look, locate that and shoot things along this way, which is pretty cool. So a really quick, easy setup with this. Uh, again, and it's connected to an advanced rotor um, down there into a hinge, um, converting to a small grid um, conveyor, uh, basically. So then we can have to get in turrets. And in this way, 
you can pretty much load in as many turrets as you want. So you can add in a few more going left or right or eventually go up and down with them either way. So this becomes a little more powerful than just having that one small grid turret here. So this one is pretty it's pretty good but the footprint is pretty large um, because look at the way you see it it's look how tall it is it's one two pretty much three large blocks tall versus things like this this is like a two block tall this is nearly two block tall uh, this is two block tall as well and then this one comes back to be about three blocks tall maybe even four blocks tall as you see here so one two three four so close to four blocks tall um, depending if it's pointing up straight like that then yeah four blocks tall so a lot of that is like not very small footprint so in, ter in terms of height at least so why not check out some other variations so of course i thought of doing something like this where you have pre pretty much three gatlins and you could attach a lot more and it's pretty much the stripped down version of this one here so instead of a c and everything like that instead of having everything um set up that way it's a quick little turret system and it's controlled by a seat back here where we can easily move it up and down left and right and we do have a camera attached to it as well and you'll see the red dot in a triangle right there so we have the kind of like the triforce right there we can kind of look at it so it turns into this turret system where we can just aim and shoot things down pretty pretty quickly as you see here So that one, I believe it's a little bit of a smaller footprint only without the extra stuff here, as you see here with the seat and everything like that. We just made it more longer in, in a sense, but it kind of works out if you wanted to do some kind of like turret system that you don't sit inside it, that this is the way to do it. And of course, there's many other ways to design it. This is just a, a quick and easy way that I just plopped on together to kind of see how things go. And of course, my last build is this here. So I wanted to reduce the height, but of course, um, we could kind of maintain it to go a little longer. So this one, instead of going two blocks up, this is pretty much one large grid up, but it's got close to two blocks long. So if just by reducing the height footprint, um, we did it with the connectors. And why we did it with the connectors? Because we can connect the Gatlins using the small conveyor hose on the side of the connectors instead of using the large one up top. So we couldn't do that with the advanced rotors and, and the hinges uh, because they, if you put in a converted from large grid to small grid, they're usually that big large conveyor hole, which is like this one here. So this one is actually has to be a remote control. So you could get away with one, with just having one gyroscope. I just put in three since it would make no difference in terms of the height. So I just added the three. But this one again is the connector type system where you can go horizontal, but now with the combination of a hinge that goes up and down. So this one we can sit in the seat if we wanted to, or we could just go straight straight directly into it. Either way, we have to remote into it. So we go remote into this system here. Alright, so actually, you know what? We have to unlock it really quick before we can actually remote into it. So Better to sit in there to remote into it, or you could just remote it directly from here. So we get into the controls, and again, it's running off a of script. So you see right in front of us, there's a programming block right here. So that is running the same script as before, just to give us the up and down motion through the hinges. But everything else is pretty much connected to this connector, and the gyroscope is the one that's making the left and right rotation. So with the camera here, so this one has four Gatlins. Of course, you could put more or design it any way you like. I'm just trying to make a lower height footprint for this type of turret system. And what I did is basically put the hinges on the side so we can just get the up and down motion and then the left and right with the connectors. So it's kind of a combination of both um, from the turrets we saw before. It has a camera right in the middle. So that is the camera right there. So actually these both hinges this hinge and this hinge here um, with these blocks are connected together. I used a merge block to do that and put the camera right in the middle. So why we put it there is so we can kind of see perfectly and we can see up and down motion as well. So initially what I actually did do was pretty much put this camera on the um, antenna bottom right there. 
and it wasn't very helpful because when I was moving my turrets up and down, the camera was still static. So that didn't help at all. So now I just changed it this way where now the camera follows the turret as much as possible, even going up and down. So then this way, it can easily shoot things in all directions, basically. So we're just destroying whatever that is there. I think it is my wrecking ball crane. So yeah, so these are some fun little Gatlin turret systems that I just decided to build um, and test test them to just kind of reduce footprint. And I think in future builds, I might add some of these, um, maybe this one for the most part, because it's easy easily done through a rotor system. Um, but for horizontal, and if you wanted all directions, I would probably do this, which is the advanced rotor with the um, hinge system here, so we can have all different directions. So if we had a, like a large ship and we wanted to have a uh, turret system outside where you can sit in it, have a partner sit in it or a friend sit in it, and to shoot down and battle other ships. We have that there and of course if you want to do kind of like a uh, not a remote system um well yeah if you want to do some kind of remote system from your ship you can easily do either this one there or this one where you don't have to remote into it which is co directly connected to um your ship itself so there's other ways to design it but the best way to convert from large grid to small grid it's using an advanced rotor or a hinge system but it does require to use um the large conveyor hose for the most part, unless you want to separate it where you put the cargo onto um, these holes here or or what or what not. So it really depends how you want to design it. But the way I did it here is basically put all the cargo within the base so that all the ammo can be picked up from there and transferred into the Gatlin guns and the turrets and things like that. Um, but the, this system here, same thing, we have to lock into it. You could always put your um, cargo outside as well. I mean, but if you want to reduce footprint, you probably want to put a lot of small little cargoes out here if you need to. So yeah, so those are some little fun ways to make like Gatlin turrets or Gatlin guns and turret systems that you can easily and manually use. I mean, for the most part, you would probably want to go automatic. But the biggest problem with automatic systems here is that it just randomly targets, um, well, not really randomly, but it specifically targets some most things with control panels. So like say a battery in that case or control seat and it has their own kind of priorities too um, whether it's probably distance and type of system it just shoots that no matter what of course there's mods out there as well to kind of manipulate these turrets to automatically fire specific items um, depending on what you tell it to do but in terms of manual control which I mean when I um, do a little bit of PVE sometimes so against um, um, pirates and and things like that and I need the distance I generally do actually pop in to go manual with these turrets but of course next time I'm thinking I'm gonna create something like these so I can have some fun with them um, and shoot things at a distance or even even close up maybe I'll just um, have Don drive a massive rover or a massive ship and I'll be the gunner here and you know use these guys which is pretty interesting and fun way to um, play play around with some you know, shooting action in, in, in Space Engineers. All right, so hope you guys did enjoy that experiment with the Gatling guns and turrets where we created different designs so we can use them manually in, instead of having just those kind of bulky turrets in the game. So this was just me playing around with different things to see if it works out and what is kind of like the best style and different designs. And if, like I said before, all this could be done in different ways. Um, this is just something I just want to put together to kind of see how they look and how they react and how we can implement these in future videos. Alright, so if you did enjoy this video, you know what to do. And that's of course, hit that thumbs up, like the video. Also consider subscribing to the channel. Leave us some comments. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.